Well, hello all. Uh, today I just got a quick demo video of the IRTX and IRRX uh, little project kits I put together. It's a uh, infrared receiver transmitter pair uh, meant for repeating IR signals between different rooms or from outside a solid cabinet to inside where you know, a normal IR remote would not work. So to start out with, I just got my receiver over there tuned to an annoying AM channel as to not uh, get picked up by the copyright infringement system on YouTube, hopefully. I don't think anyone has copyright over that annoying noise. Let me turn that back down. So here we have the transmitter card, and as you can see, I just have it powered off a little 7 volt wall wart, 7.5. And I just had some two wire or two conductor bell wire laying around, so I used that, which means I have to have two different power sources. Had I had three conductors or more, I could have just wired these together and then powered everything off of that wall work. So now if we just sort of follow this wire around, you'll see it goes up the stairs here. I don't fall over. And around over here. And I just sort of draped it into the kitchen just so I'd have some counter space to play on my nasty ass stove. So here's the spool of wire. As you can see, there, you know, I, I can't remember exactly how much wire was on here, but you know, it's at least a couple hundred feet. So let me get this arranged. Um, as you can see, I'm just powering it off a 9 volt for testing. I do not recommend powering it off of batteries, it'll probably chew through them pretty quick. Um, I haven't measured it, but I'm fairly certain of that. So here I got the same remote again, and with the power unplugged, uh, as you can see, or as you can hear, nothing's happening. Now if I hook this up quick, okay, now I'm hooked up, and same remote once again. And as you can hear, we have control over the volume of the receiver downstairs where before this would never work because it's just too far away and too many solid walls. And there you have it. Pretty simple. Here's a close-up of the receiver. So basically you stick, glue, bolt this someplace where it's in line of sight of the remote, maybe on top of a cabinet or in the remote room, and then just wire it down to the transmitter which was downstairs and you know when you go to position the transmitter use your remote just sort of find where you think you want to stick it you know if, if this was in the inside of the cabinet and this was one wall you know just place your remote against the wall where you think you want to stick the transmitter and try the buttons and make sure your receiver picks it up and also remember infrared will bounce off of white walls so, you know, one of the good locations if the inside of your cabinet's white is to actually mount it on top of the receiver, pointing it at the door so it hits the door and reflects back into the uh, receiver. So, there you have it. Enjoy.